Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment of Pseudo Sergeant, we're going to talk about one way that you could sidestep the Arduino development environment. Fortunately, the Arduino development environment is available for Linux. However, I find it to be rather clunky. So if you're like me, you generally press control comma and go to the preferences and immediately click use external editor and then you open up your external editor. For me, the disadvantage of using an external editor is that I still have to have the Arduino development environment open to compile and upload the code. However, I wanted to get out of that and I was looking for ways to just compile through the terminal and I found some instructions off of the Arduino manual page. And we can call Arduino directly from the terminal. So I looked this up, I found the arguments that we'd need to send to it, and I wrote a little script. So it takes the argument, uses that argument to find out where the uh, code is, and takes the uh, .ino file and uses it as the input for the arguments going into the Arduino from the terminal. In order to find out all the arguments that would be necessary to send to Arduino from the terminal, in the uh, preferences of Arduino, Arduino. I also clicked show verbose output during com compilation and upload. So when I compile with the Arduino, we get all of this output here. So I did, I, I looked through the output and I found this line right here. And that tells me the microcontroller argument that I need to send to it. And also I send along the, uh, the argument for the INO file that I want to compile. And at this point, I can close that because I've got my script right here. And this is the kdevelop IDE. It's uh, a KDE application, and it works really great. I can, you see how I can split my windows into two, so I can have a pane on the left and a pane on the right. And then I can also go to run and uh, configure launches. And right here, you see I have Soroban Programmer 4. So I call the Soroban Programmer script that I wrote, and I send it this argument. And at that point, on my keyboard, I can just shift F9, and it will do the same as control U in the Arduino development environment. And that's one way that I can untether myself from the Arduino IDE. And that's all the time we have for this segment of the Pseudo Sergeant. If you'd like to see more, please visit us at element14.com forward slash TBHS.